this is a very short, very short overview of the uh, the Cray Math library. So it's M MKL, the math kernel library is from Intel, and of course Cray is a, um, uh, we have a different library. So we provide the, the math kernel library. Here you see basically what we have, okay? Our library is not bound, of course, to just the, the, uh, the Intel, Intel sorry, CPUs, okay? So there is also the version for this, the previous version, so the AMD version, this, this uh, Sandy Bridge version, so optimized for Sandy Bridge. Also, here is not shown, but there is also a version for the accelerator, so we target the GPUs, okay? The NVIDIA GPUs, okay? So this is the, the idea. So I will give you an overview of what we can do with this library. We show you the uh, results for uh, uh, GEM, basically, okay, the Cray Blast, basically, the LAPAC and the SCALAPAC version, FFT, and then uh, some specific uh, library for uh, uh, coming from Cray, okay? So the idea behind the library is that the beginning was uh, just to collect, basically, functions inside the uh, packages, basically, and then you just link to these packages. Now, it's a little bit changing the idea. So the idea is to have a library that where you can get functions which are really optimized, okay? So you can link these libraries, not just because you want to call the function, but because you want to call up the best function, okay? The best version of this function. So it's a collection, in this case, where you can have different versions optimized for your system and so on, okay? So this is the special version for Cray. So we do performance specific for the node, so inside the node, but in general for the cluster, okay? So we optimize for a given cluster. And uh, we optimize for scalability. We optimize, of course, for getting performance using vectorization and so on. Okay, so these are uh, description of uh, why we do this work. Okay, so I will give you some details later on how we do, for example, auto tuning. So we provide you a special version of the library, in particular in the case for Gem, for the Sandy Bridge system. Okay, so you, that you can get the best performance. Or of course, we do the comparison with MKL. And of course, if we go slower than MKL, then we need to improve, OK? So we are at least best as MKL, OK? We can be better than MKL, of course. Right, so this is an overview of the function we have. So we have FT, so the FFTW, the Cray version of FT, adaptive FFT. Then we have the sparse calculations here, and also the dense part, OK? So this is just the meaning of what are these things. I will describe you all these three parts, basically, in a just short overview, OK? So how to use this library? It's very easy, right? So you need to load. Uh, you can just link this library in your code, basically. So there is a way to use the uh, uh, parallel version using OpenP. You just set the number of OpenP threads in this case. Then you, there is a way to understand if you, uh, this is the library, OK? if you have uh, the parallel version or not. It depends if you are calling, for example, inside the open peer region, then you will use the sequential portion. Otherwise, you will do necessary parallelism, OK? So this is the idea. For FT, it's, uh, here it's out of the box. Just link, and you will just use it. Here, FFT, you need to load the module, OK? Module load FFT, and then you can use in your code. And the same from here, OK? PETC and trillions, OK? And for uh, this library here, you don't need to change anything in your code. All right, there is, uh, these are the good friends. So you load the uh, program environment. Then this is this fantastic tool here. So here this output when you run uh, uh, without any command. So okay, you will get this output here. And then you can specify one of these libraries and you will get more information. Of course, for the other things, you can use the main pages. This is just to, to remind, okay? And this is the main page for uh, the libc library, okay? Where you can get this information. All right. So you need to check if you are using the correct library, that uh, there is a way to specify where you are calling this function. You don't need to add this guy here. This is automatically done when you load the program environment, OK? So no need to explicitly link into this library, OK? So then uh, you can use this option here. And of course, it, 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 this is the minus y. You can resolve where is this library is coming from, OK? To make sure that we are using the version Otherwise, it will use the last version, OK? So if you are linking different libraries, it will use the version which is linking from, uh, it, it will link to the last version of, this, uh, of, this, uh, of, of the particular function you are using, OK? All right. So as I say, for trading, we will use OpenP. 
uh, and uh, you can specify how many OpenMP threads, and then of course you can run the, uh, the libraries uh, using OpenMP. Depends if you are calling inside or not an OPP region or MPI region, then uh, it depends uh, if you will use on the scalar version, so the, not the sequential version, sorry, or, or, or you will use the OPP version. Here is a description of what's going on, okay? So let's say if you are calling in, in a code which is not threading, then the blast will use OPP, okay? Will spawn different threads, so it will go in parallel, so if you are using DGEM, for example, okay? If you are using threaded code and you are outside, outside the parallel region, then still we'll use OpenP threads. Otherwise, we'll use the, uh, the, the single thread version. This is just to avoid that we are using the nested parallelism, okay? So you will understand that we are already inside the parallel region and it will not do again OpenP, otherwise it will do nested parallelism, okay? So you can easily understand how it works. So a large set of uh, applications, they use basically BLAS, so they use a LAPAC, and of course we optimize for this version. So linear solvers, eigen, eigen solvers, Scala pack, and CZL FFT. All these things here are basically based on GEM. Okay, so we optimize GEM specifically in our case. So we do the best we can do for GEM. And for this case, we support then all these systems which are based basically on GEM calls. Okay, so what do we do? Essentially, we take uh, a possibility to, uh, from uh, depending on the system, we take uh, the code, we do auto-tuning, okay? So we optimize the code for the particular system. And every time there is a new system, we do auto-tuning again. So in the case of Intel, there is MKL, they do the same thing basically, right? So you can link to MKL. In our case, we just do the same thing, and we do auto-tuning of the system, basically. And uh, it's very hard then to do auto-tuning, because it depends which version you have, right? So if you are doing matrix multiplication, let's say, keep in mind, gem matrix multiplication, let's say double, okay, D gem. So then uh, you are doing a case, uh, it depends, strongly depends, the optimization you are doing of the sides of these matrices, okay? So there is no a real rule that you can say, okay, it's valid for all, any kind of dimension. And here is the, 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 the case, okay? So let's say if you are taking the, the matrices like this, you can do this optimization and you will get the best from this very easy case where all three matrices are the same, basically, and they are square matrices. But in reality, we have cases where we have something like this, okay, with a small m, okay, m is the dimension here, or you have a small n, or you have small k, okay, which is the dimension for b, okay? So we need to optimize for all the possible dimensions, okay? There is no real case, unless we are targeting a specific case, then maybe it's better if you write your code, okay? For all these cases, you need to provide the specific kernels, okay, for this matrix multiplication. So how to do that, as I say, you use auto-tuning. There is a package we have inside, which is called B-Frame. This package is basically what it does. It starts for a given combination, then it is, uh, you can imagine the matrix multiplication based on loops. Then it starts to, to apply optimizations in the way that it's doing a rolling, in the way it's doing blocking, all the, f all the possible com uh, optimization that uh, we understood in these last days, okay? This is the way how it works. So you have a, um, uh, starting from a given version of the code, the kernel for that given dimension, as I say, okay? Then you start all this optimization, and at the end you get uh, the fastest possibility for this matrix multiplication you store inside the library. And we do all this kind of tuning for each new system, okay? So at the end in the library, you will get uh, the fastest possible kernel for that combination, okay? It's quite clear, okay? So this is the comparison between uh, running on the Sandy Beach single thread between MKL and our version of the code. As you can see, we are uh, slightly better, okay? And this is the dimension, M, N, K, okay? But uh, as, as, as I told you, this then does not depend on the dimension. So for each dimension, we have uh, optimized the kernel, okay? Of course, uh, you can imagine auto-tuning uh, is quite slow procedure because you need to run all the possible combinations, get the best, uh, and then store the best, and so on. But then you run once for, uh, for a given system, and then uh, you store in the library, and you ship the library. That's the end of the story, okay? This is for large, this is small, M, N, K. This is for large, M, N, K. And still, you can see that uh, in most of the cases, we are better than, than, than M, N, K. So for this Sandy Bridge system, of course, we do the comparison with M, N, K, okay? All right. Of course, <coughs> we try to do the best for any kind of combination, but if you have a specific case, for example, I like to do this matrix multiplication between a given dimension, okay, and maybe you will not get the best from our library, you can send this request, and then uh, we can work to, our, 
to improve and then add a new version to the next library. Okay, that's, that's the conclusion. So in this way, we do optimization. So we try to have the best combinations, the best performance on top of this library. Now let's move to LAPAC, threaded LAPAC. So it works exactly as BLAST, basically. Depends, is using OpenP threads. Depends if you are running in a parallel region or not, then it will use OpenP. You will get the best on the node, OK? So uh, essentially, it uses BLAST at the end. So it's basically nothing to, to say here. And uh, of course, then you can apply uh, the, if you are inside the node, you can apply the OpenP parallelization or not, OK? For Scala Pack, uh, in this case, uh, it's still optimized for Gemini. It's still missing the optimization for the new network, but they are working hard on that, OK? So you can imagine there is good scalability. It's also based on optimization for BLAS, OK? And then there, there is this thing, this guy here I will show you later on, which is a way to include a single position, double position, mixed way so that you can get best performance on this system. And here you can see the comparison where you are comparing the two libraries, in this case, in a big system. OK, still, this is for uh, the Cray XT, so the ROSA system, basically, if you, if you like. So you can see that we still have scalability, OK, with the large number of nodes, OK? As I say, this is still working on for the new system, but uh, we will see soon these numbers, OK? So inter interactive in refinement toolkit, as I showed before, is a way to use inside these libraries, inside the possibility to have a single and double precision. All, of course, reductions and so on are done in double precision. So in most systems, you have a factor two, okay? You can imagine that uh, in AVX, 256 bits, you can have four doubles, but you can have eight single precision numbers, okay? So if you are in a world where you are using vectorization, but all the other systems basically have factor two, okay? You're, you're using vectorization, you can gain a lot if you move to single precision. And then there are specific optimization for single precision, OK? The point is that you don't want to lose, of course, precision, total precision. So you need to pay attention where to put single precision instead of double precision, OK? So this tool is able to understand this uh, uh, is interactive. So you will understand where to put single precision to gain. So you can use this tool here, this explanation how it works. So it's quite easy, basically, uh, uh, there are APIs to, to use, OK? So you will change from this function here to this function here. This is just an example of works, OK? You then you will set this variable here, and you will uh, run. And this is a, just a comparison, OK? So what do we expect is a factor 2. And here you can see the, the effect, OK? So as I say, mixture between single double precision, OK? This fix here, random. I don't think it's a real problem, OK? It's nothing special, OK? So of course, this is not part of MKL. As far as I know, there does not exist anything like this, OK? So anyway, so this is just to get the best performance. It's still an AMD system, but of course, the same thing applies for uh, the Sandy Bridge. FFTW, so Basically, we interface to FFTW. So as I said before, you just do module load FFTW, and then you can use the FFTW. There is also a Cray version, OK? Here is a comparison, but as you can see, the MPI rank basically is for the two versions of FFTW, OK? So it's just linking to this library. And then as I say, there is a Cray version, OK? So in this case, it's parallel version, and uh, you can uh, uh, have all the information from the main page in this case. OK? And uh, also, in this case, you can, I don't have the plot, but then you can do comparison, basically, on, of, of, over the result. So this another library that you can use, OK? The last thing, I guess, is uh, the Cray Adaptive Sparse Kernel. So you can uh, use this for a sparse matrix, basically, OK? And also, in this case, they are optimized for the system. So we do also, in this case, auto-tuning. And here, you can make the comparison between the two systems still on Intel Sandy Bridge, OK? So we are here for our system and the PET-CT, OK? Same thing for a different version, OK, with the Trilinios and Trilinios. As in this case, we are much better than the version, the standard version. So we do optimization for this specific library. 
then here CSCS we, we have an expert of uh, libc the math part so if you have special requests just send to him argentation okay and he can answer to your questions how to use this library it was just a short review okay nothing special